Kia Sportage SUV 2023 Pros and Cons Explained The Sportage 2023 and Sportage Hybrid 2023 have been awarded the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, 2022 Top Safety Pick TSP, Award. This award is applicable to both the Sportage along with the Sportage Hybrid when they are fitted with LED projector headlights and makes it the Sportage and 9th Kia vehicle to receive either a TSP in 2022 or the Top Safety Pick Plus TSPAND, award. These are the notable pros in this SUV. Number 1. Kia Sportage SUV 2023 is much more recommendable than before. Number 2. It is roomy and it have a lot of spacious interior. Number 3. Excellent design as well as it is technologically advanced for the money. Number 4. A fantastic hybrid model. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. Kia has completely transformed the Sportage and we're certainly not only discussing its cutting-edge design. In fact, from the bumper up the 2023 Sportage has a variety of improvements to attract buyers who aren't looking for another Honda CR-V or Toyota RAV4. There are, however, some mistakes however overall, it's a great SUV. Sportage is an excellent small SUV that is a worthy 2019 SUV of the year winner. These are the notable cons. Number 1. A mediocre standard engine. Number 2. The overall economy may be stronger. Number 3. Dual purpose controls that are difficult to understand. Kia has three different powertrains available for the brand new Sportage which we'll review clearly. The engine that powers the majority of Sportages, a 1 HP 187 horsepower 2.5 liter naturally aspirated I, for coupled to an 8 speed automatic is by far the weakest of the three. On the track, the 2.5 liter powered Sportage X Pro we tested was able to sprint to 60 speed at 9.3 seconds, which was at the bottom of a competitive group. There's a chance that a different trim with the X-Pro's off-road focused features could be a couple of 10 THS quicker, but no matter the engine's performance, it was criticized in the beginning and frequently by judges of the SUV of the year, especially those that were coming from the more upscale 2020 Honda CR-V. The Sportage Hybrid erased much of the unpleasant taste of the engine's subpar efficiency and fuel economy. It was able to perform as fast as the brand new CR-V Hybrid, the Sportage is among the largest SUVs in the market and comes with a 12.3-inch touchscreen included on nearly every model. A digital instrument cluster is standard however its function isn't as extensive, it's impressive. Innovative concepts are all over the cabin of the Sportage. The cup holders have two claws that retract to hold cups when you want them, and larger objects even when they aren't needed. USB outlets are located in the middle of front seat backs, which makes them much more user-friendly rather than being placed on the floor as is the case in several other cars. There are also rear seat folding controls that are located inside the storage area. These latches make it more efficient to use the large cargo space of the Sportage in the event of large items to carry. This is a feature Honda does not offer anymore. The hybrid version is the 2023 Sportage's perfect fit. Its EPA MPG rating in the AWD version isn't quite a one that is the most competitive available in this segment, however, it's just enough and we're willing to overlook the flaws because it's an impressive crossover. Its Sportage Hybrid cuts a full 2 seconds off of the base engine's 0 to 60 time and significantly improves fuel efficiency and reduces noise from the cabin while doing it. Decent performance, a comfy and well-equipped cabin, and an enjoyable drive create an ideal vehicle that I would recommend to anyone who wants to know what I'm shopping to buy," senior editor Justin Westbrook stated, not to mention the warranties available. There are a few issues that go beyond the base engine mentioned above which includes the plug-in hybrid's poor range of 34 miles on all-electric power and the clunky buttons on the screen that control the functions of both infotainment and HVAC depending on the content being displayed. 
In addition we found that the new Sportage lineup, and particularly the hybrid model, was more versatile and competitive than any other model. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.